Hi friends, welcome to another photo walk video. This one's going to be unique. I have made a photographer friend and a YouTuber friend. This is my wife, she's my other YouTuber I'm not friend. His friend. But uh but she's gonna go to the coffee shop at work. I'm gonna meet up with my new friend. His name's Robbie. us here and then I'm going to break off with Christina and go on a photo walk with said Robbie. Christina, yeah. what's important to you about work, uh, about coming to a Starbucks like this to work on your things? Robbie has a man bun and I think that that's his man bun. Oh hi there! What's up man? What up? What up? You're already on it? I'm on it. You're on it I don't man. mess around. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, this is I'm Christina. Robbie. Nice to meet you. Robbie is so tall that this is me standing up right now, and he's standing up, and he is so much taller that he looks so, so short. He looks like. <laughs> how does it feel to live that tall? It's amazing. Do you just feel like you look down on people? It's a little cold, but emotionally, like and intellectually speaking. Okay, here I am with Robbie. The way that I found Robbie, you don't know this yet. Oh, all right, let's hear it. The way that I found you <laughs> is I was on a dating site. I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, <laughs> no one's supposed to know about that. Um. <laughs> well, it's there. I, fa I found you through, uh, I was looking on YouTube for Salt Lake City street photography, I think. Yes, that's And I was trying to find other people who would be such a thing, and I came across you. Now, you make YouTube videos. Yes. You're also a photographer and would, would identify yourself as a bit of a filmmaker as well, correct? Okay. Probably more of a filmmaker than a photographer. Okay, okay. Professionally. Gotcha. Would you call yourself a street photographer or do you just dabble in that world? Professionally, probably call myself a product photographer. Okay. Because that's where most of my professional work is. Mm hmm. But. On the side, I like to do street photography, and mm -hmm. I haven't done it in a while, Ooh. so today's like a good get back into the game day. Oh, fun. Okay. Okay. What was interesting to me about your videos is they were rather, they were rather well put together, well edited. They have a nice moody, links below, check them out. They have uh, a nice moody feel to them. He has a good calm personality. You're just like, I could, this guy's fun to listen to talk, you know? I'm going to try not to get hit by a bus. That would really change the events of this video dramatically. <laughs> Robbie, Rob, Robbie. Right? Robbie, yeah. Robbie, okay. I see Rob some places, and I see Robbie other places. You can call me Rob if you want. Okay. Wouldn't bother me. Jack? Probably not Jack. Gertrude? Well, we're gonna walk around and try to take some photos now. I've been with Robbie for 12 seconds and he introduced me to a new spot. I never come past like that threshold. <laughs> he yeah, brought me to a... He... Oh, okay. Isles. The sketchy aisles. No, I like aisles better. Great sound, great spot to film a video. Can you hear me? Second day hanging out and I'm just gonna bring you into a freaking stairwell. That's uh, that's cool. Oh, okay, so we gotta jump over a thing. Go around the doors, but. Oh! <laughs> Detach my groin from this <laughs> room. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. Okay, so I would say the first main reason why we came up here is so that he could film his video in an aesthetically pleasing location. So that's where we're starting for him. Everything could be a tripod if you only believe. This man has forsaketh the gorilla pod. He does not conform to social norms. No one can hold him back. So here's my issue with gorilla pods. They're, not, they're, they're good products. They're useful. But their legs start to fall. My experience with the gorilla pods is that their legs start to fall apart instead get way too bendy. Oh, yeah. I have one where I can literally just pop the leg off. It's really exciting. They need to make one that is Bendy if you want it to be, but rigid if you want it to be. We're on to something. Dude, let's make a product. Let's do it right now on this parking garage. This will be our starting point. We need materials. All right. What up, guys? I'm here with James Red. I'll link him down on YouTube. 
the Hi. description. But he is another YouTube creator, photographer, video. What would you say your main title is? Uh, that one's a tough one. But I would say that I am a photographer and YouTube creator. I would just call. I would just round myself up and put it into that little bundle. There you go. I like documentary and street photography, and I talk about photography and the creative process a lot. The reason we're out here today is it's officially the first day of spring. We got some great weather, and we're gonna do some street photography. Okay. You call it a photo walk. I, I would call it a photo walk, but you could call it an Instagram mission. I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. Something like that, you, know, you get it. Fiesta, shindig. Photo fiesta. Split, I tried to make up a word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I spent a lot of time on ground level, but I've gotten up high today, and sometimes you can find interesting people shots that way, sometimes you can't. There's actually a group of people down there that might work out for a good shot. man with a cowboy hat is trying to get naked for us. Gotta get the shot. Gotta get it. Gotta get those bangers. Yeah. Oh. Banger. Oh, okay. So I wander around downtown Salt Lake City quite a bit, but uh, Robbie here is showing me some new places. This is good times. This is an interesting wall. He is an interesting human. We shall take a picture of interesting human in front of interesting wall. I was shooting portrait just a second ago and I had to remember that Instagram likes to crop your photos. They can't be taller if they're portrait than 8 by 10 ratio. So I had to remember that unless you get fancy and put all the white borders and stuff. But I'm not, not down with that life. Did you say I want to take a photo of a hot chick inside that building? <laughs> no, the hot chicken sign. Oh, the hot chicken sign. Okay, oh, see that's, that's, that's different. Like a hot chicken sign. Okay, right, right, right. Just taking a photo of the hot chicken sign not the hot chick inside, there is a difference. I felt and I'm obeying the urge to put this thing away for a little bit and shoot with only, gotta get in my pocket, my iPhone. Do you think this will go well or horribly wrong? I think it's gonna go great. Don't take my iPhone, sir. Now I'm the photo subject. Oh, you lost your diddly do. Stupid plastic diddly doodle. Stupid diddly do. Okay, that was the first half of the photo walk with Robbie. As I'm sure you can tell, he's a he's a rad dude. I met with him yesterday for the first time at a coffee shop. We just sat down and uh, spoke after I found him online. We talked for an hour and forty five odd minutes about uh, creativity and and what we like to do and what we want to do and this sort of thing. It's really good to find people to have those types of conversations with. But now we are heading to the Salt Lake Public Library. You may remember that in my most recent, I think it was, iPhone photo walk video, I went to said library. We're heading back there. It's a, it's a very aesthetically pleasing place. So one of my major goals right now is to find creators around the Salt Lake Valley to collaborate with. And I came across Robbie. What I like about Robbie is he has a good energy about him. His colors on his videos look great, and I like his hair. That fellow over there with the camera looks familiar. 
there you are. Hi there. Is this Niagara Falls? Yeah. Wow. Fun fact. Niagara Falls is located in downtown Salt Lake City, if you didn't know that. This is terribly underwhelming. So you may remember if you watched my last video of this location that this entire slope here is a giant staircase. But they have this gate closed. Maybe someone died up there. But we, we I don't think we're gonna go on the staircase today, sadly. Bobby, it seems like they've blocked off all access to the roof. Do you think there was some sort of horrible bird murder fest that happened up there? Hope not. A thousand men torn apart by seagulls. Yeah, they're up there cleaning. I was looking when I, I went inside before you got here, and you look straight up at the glass ceiling. There's a vacuum up there. That's so metaphorical. I can't even stand it. They're, they're vacuuming. They're vacuuming the glass ceiling. They're vacuuming. <laughs> <laughs> So my wife has migrated from the Starbucks where we began to here. I'm gonna see if I can find her. We're in the glass elevator. Anyways. I found my wife. Hi, spouse. How's it going? Did you, were you a bird out there? We're okay. Christina, I understand that you like this establishment. Is this your first time here? Is it? Hi. This is one of the most interesting points in the library because you're you're very high, you have a nice vantage point. This guy just grabbed a couple shots of me, leaning on the bridge in poetic fashion, as one does. Who oh girl get that cinematic goodness? Apparently that's where the bees are. If you go outside, do they are they just flying freely? Can you hold them in your hand? Every time I've come here, the roof has been closed. Probably because people are dying from bee attacks. I'm gonna take a stroll across this bridge for the sake of art. Robbie's over there with his camera. <coughs> We're sitting in a couple of chairs enjoying a lovely view. There's some turkey chunks there and popular music. My favorite kind of music. Robbie, what? These chairs are very loud. Robbie, what, what's that? What's your favorite? This is a great place to film a video. It really is. Bright light. Bright light, enormous windows, nice like subtle, um, you know, softbox-esque type light hitting your face, and it's quiet, which we may be disrupting. I was curious, what, what sort of videos do you watch to inspire yourself? I watch short films on Vimeo. Okay. So I can just go on Vimeo and just scroll through. Yeah. Just keep looking for stuff. There's so much cool stuff on you, there. So you spend a lot of, do you spend a lot of time on Vimeo? Every once in a while. I don't like to watch other people's stuff as much, like mm -hmm. too much. Because it just doesn't measure up to your greatness. Yeah, it's hard exactly. to, that's understandable. <laughs> I feel the same way. Vimeo is, is, has a lot of really next level kind of stuff on it. Yeah. Really well done like stuff. The, the high end fashion films and stuff. And stuff. Okay. Okay. That gets me I, I really enjoy coming across like uh, different well well executed documentaries and this sort of thing on there. You can find that as well. Yeah, I like short documentaries too. There's a lot of really crazy conceptual type of stuff on there that like you really have to think about. You have to say, yeah. okay, where are they trying to lead me with yeah. this? It's like you know, it's like a bird made of paper, and <laughs> see, you know, the person keeps encountering this bird made of paper everywhere, and then the video just ends. <laughs> The video is like a minute and 58 seconds long. Okay. This guy uh, finding a bird made of paper, and and then it goes to a black screen, and you're supposed to understand what's going on. Yeah. You know. I asked you this yesterday. When people when people watch your videos, what do you hope they take away from it? Uh, mostly inspiration, mm -hmm. um, but also I hope they just like watching it. Mm -hmm. 
that's like it's a little bit of escapism maybe yeah kind of like provide because like when I watch things I like to escape the real world mm -hmm. and get into that world so if I can do the same for someone else then that's way cool mm -hmm. um, but also I know the feelings that I get from watching other creators and how they get inspired by yeah. them how I get inspired by them and I want to give the same feeling to someone else as well mm -hmm. so I was telling him yesterday when we met at the coffee shop that there's something inspiring about just watching someone who is creative live their life. And so it's like we try to turn that into, we try to develop all these ways to try to achieve our goals and inspire people and, and uh, you know, try to make it really practical and figure out definitive ways to actually communicate certain things. And there's, of course, value to that. But there's also tremendous value to just watching, you know, if you're somebody who wants to, who loves to travel, and you're trying to get there, watching somebody else just travel and just handle the situations that come up as one travels is valuable on its own. And that to me has been an interesting epiphany lately. That's why things like these photo walks are super helpful, I think. So hopefully me and this fellow will be having more conversations soon. Uh, more, more times of spending time together in general and making interesting videos, but I think it would be a lot of fun also to sit down and just just have a, a bit more of a longer form conversation about creativity and photography. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if he likes me, but, well, I mean, ho hopefully... I like you. It, if, well, okay, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> have you been productive? That's a dirty word, isn't it? Um, yes, I have been productive. Working on some edits? Yes. You feel creative? Yes. Did you have a good breakfast this morning? Yeah, it actually was really good. You did a good job. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Sometimes I burn the eggs. Come on, dude. So Robbie went away to do other important things in his life, like find the cure for cancer and you know make the world's greatest hot dog. I am going to wander around with my DSLR and my long lens and see if I can find some more interesting photos. times that Robbie is a fine fellow. I got some solid photos and I had a great time. Uh, I will link below to his channel, his Instagram, and his video whenever he makes that public for all humans and animals. There is a powerful energizing quality to hanging out with another creator. And there's a lot of value from, from being able to observe somebody else's process in person. But that's it for this one. I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.